Roar! <laughs> Hello and welcome to Pony and Wolf Productions. Today we'll be reading B Big Brother. No, sorry, wrong my rhymed. Big B Brother. Written by Carrie Pancakes. Car. Yeah, Carrie Pancakes. As always, these are our amazing Patreons. The link is in the description if you wish to join, as our furry overlords truly do appreciate it. Now, shall we get to it? Applejack meandered out of the farmhouse, waking up right at dawn as usual. She stretched and yawned right as she walked up to her big brother. We better get all these apples before the big storm of that scheduled brother. Yep, replied Big Mac, pulling an empty wooden cart behind him as they paced up the path. The day was warm and the trees were filled to the brim with juicy ripe apples. Reds, yellows and greens reflected off of the apples from the morning sun. The smell of the farm tingled at Applejack's nose as she walked up to the first apple tree of the day. With her flank facing the tree, she gave a good solid kick to the tree as all of the fresh apples fell to the ground. Big Mac and Applejack gathered up all the apples, placing them neatly into the empty cart. After several more trees, Apple Bloom trotted up the path. Applejack, big brother, can I help? Applebloom jumped up and down in front of her sister. Yeah, you go with Big Mac. I'll work on the ones on this side. Applebloom smiled as she ran down the path, Big Mac trotting after her. Applejack kept knocking off the apples till she reached a very specific tree. This tree is the tree she was dreading. On a low hanging branch, a giant beehive hung. Last year, Applejack didn't even bother with this tree. This year, they knew they were going to run low over the winter. She had to pick the apples from this tree. She plopped down right below the tree and began to think. How am I gonna get those apples? If I kick the tree like I normally do, the hive will fall and the bees are gonna be stinging the bejesus out of me. Maybe I can. She put her front hoof on the sides of the tree and pulled herself up. She got a few inches, reaching with all her might. With a thud, she fell back to the grind, rubbing her haunches. She looked back at the hive. Bees peacefully glittered in and out of the opening of the hive, making tiny buzz noises. Well, that didn't work. I don't think I'll get any higher than that. How about... She trotted back to a tree she had knocked on a little while ago and picked up a big branch that had fallen. She grabbed the giant limber in her jaw, just barely able to keep it in her mouth. She dragged the broken limb over to the bee tree she lifted the longest end up to the beehive, trying to knock it off. She barely touched it while standing with her hooves. A small gust of wind came up, and she felt herself begin to wobble. She toppled down, the tree branch knocking her right in the head. She rubbed her head with a hoof as a knot began to form. Gosh darn it! She sat down underneath the tree opposite the bee tree. How am I supposed to get that half down? I've tried, but there can't be any more than I can do. Another idea popped into the pony's head. She galloped down the path towards their big barn. She ran in, looking around for their stepladder. She grabbed one end of the huge stepladder in her teeth as she painstakingly dragged the ladder back to the tree. She propped it up against the tree, determination in her eyes. She slowly made her way up the ladder as it wobbled back and forth with every hoof step. She got to the top of the ladder, reaching out to try and knock the hive off the branch. She reached and stretched, lightly tapping the hive. A slight breeze took a hold of the ladder, making it stand completely straight in the air. Applejack looked down upon the ground, several feet off the ground. She lost her grip on the ladder as she plummeted to the earth. She closed her eyes, screaming as she waited for the painful end. She felt herself being lifted up by something. She slowly opened one eye. She looked up to find that friendly buttercup pony she has come to like. Fluttershy gently lowered her to the ground. Applejack, why were you falling? You know that's not safe, Fluttershy said with a worried look on her face. Sorry, Fluttershy. I was just trying to get that darn beehive out of that tree so I can knock down all them there apples. Oh, well, let me help. Fluttershy quickly fluttered up to the beehive, 
and knocked on one side gently. Um, excuse me, Mr. and Mrs. Bees? Would you mind if I helped you move to a tree that doesn't grow apples? Your nest is bothering Applejack's orchard, and we wouldn't want that, would we? All of the bees nodded their head, a look of sorrow and repent on their minuscule faces. Fluttershy carefully pulled the hive off the branch, holding in her hooves like it was a baby fall. Swiftly, she flew to a nearby tree, not the apple-growing strain, and gently hung the hive back up. She glided back to Applejack, who by now was smiling ear to ear. It was really that easy? Man, I should have called you first. The two ponies laughed, they hugged and parted ways, as Fluttershy went back to her duties, and Applejack went back to picking apples. She kept on knocking out apples. Big Mac came back around with Apple Bloom. They loaded up the apples till the cart was completely full. Apple Bloom rushed back to the barn and grabbed a basket. Here, I'll take the rest of the apples. You guys head home, Applejack said, as she watched as her brother and sister trotted back home. She didn't get done till dusk as she walked home, smelling the fresh apple pie baked by Granny Smith. She smiled looking into the window spying her brother and sister, laughing with their grandmother. A simple but sweet story, I have to admit. Not complicated, not crazy. And I definitely see Applejack not fully remembering that Fluttershy can talk to animals, at least in the very beginning. Because when you think animals, you think bunnies or birds, not insects. And I too would also forget about that. Also, Applejack's kind of stubborn, so I can also see her trying to do it her way first. That was Big Bee Brother, written by Carrie Pancakes. I hope you all enjoyed, and no, not today. Put that thing down. Good. Now, as I was saying, hope you all enjoyed, and keep watching that moon, everyone. Bye!